We are back, ladies and gentlemen, JTP Hot Trends. Now, as I mentioned, Monet, um, absolutely fantastic artist, triple threat, rapper, dancer, and singer. She had her big album release at Le Petit Sports Bar. It was fantastic, so professional. And, you know, we spoke with her, and she said one of the things that she wants to do is network. And I think she's off to a fantastic start. There were so many VI artists in the building, uh, Aaron the Jedi, Joseph George, so many artists. And we had the opportunity to sit down and speak with them, as well as Monet. And what she's hoping, we found out exactly what she's hoping to happen with this new EP. You got to check it out right here on JTV Hot Trends. The song will be God Sent and this is basically the intro to AOTA. It's describing exactly like what I stand for. It represents my drive, my ambition. It's really in your face and I know a lot of you probably never heard me rap so hardcore before in a long time, maybe back then, but now this is really in your face about my drive, my ambition, like me believing that I have what it takes and me telling you you should pay attention to me because I have what it takes. But you won't let it go. Then I really go that life, we just put it on a show. Never believe social media. Cause most of them are posers with leading you. Be careful of the bullshit that they feed you. Don't let them change you on Saturday with the video. Let me be dropped for a second. I'm going on, there's no second guessing. I used to trust my time and my lesson. Now I'm careful of the people I invest in. You didn't wanna get my first. Really, they don't feel me, but they'll see me. JTV Hot Trends, your girl Sophie B, the big album release party here tonight at Le Petit Sports Bar, and I'm here with the man himself, DJ Dre. How you doing? I'm good, Sophie. How are you doing? Happy New Year, by the way. Thank you. Same to you. Now we're here for the big album release. Monet, you're familiar with her as an artist, so I want to get your opinion, your view of her album uh, from a DJ's perspective. You come along, you come across a lot of artists. You know, the music sometimes is not the right sound, the quality. Tell us your views about Monet's album. Well, the quality definitely is it's industry standard. I must say that first and foremost. Um, her album, I've been listening to songs, and I must say, <laughs> she's up there with any rap artist that's on the market right now. She may mention a Nicki Minaj. Um, I could compare with Little Kim. She's up there. She's up to that standard, in my personal opinion. I like her songs and I like the fact that she's actually also writing them. That's amazing and um, as an artist, uh, as, as I said, I've known her for a while and I can see the level of maturity that she's displaying now and um, definitely she knows what she wants. She made it clear that I'm not a singer, I'm a rapper and she is in a male dominated world and she has a lot of work to do but I think she could, she could make it. She have that. The music is of that standard, her quality of rapping is of, of that standard. She just basically need that song to get her out there now. Now earlier she spoke about not receiving the, the support, you know, different artists in the Virgin Islands not receiving their support from the people, whether it's from uh, promoters. As a DJ, is it difficult for an artist to get their music on the radio? What are some of the things that some artists probably don't know that they need to know to get their, their album on the air? Um, <laughs> that's a very good question because as a radio DJ, I come across that a lot. Um, as an artist, presentation is one, right? Presentation is one. And not because, as she, and she did mention that in a, not because you recorded a song last night, means you bring it, you bring it to get airplay tomorrow. You understand? There's, there's procedures you must go through. Um, as an artist, there's a lot of artists that don't understand. It don't happen overnight. It's a lot of work. And respect is something, as an artist, most people say respect is earned, but as an artist, respect is demanded. JTV Hot Trends, we are here, still here, having a fantastic time at the album release party from Monet's album entitled IOTA. And we have so many artists in the house tonight here to support her, and we're sitting next to Joseph George. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. First of all, I want to say Happy New Year to everyone that's watching right now. Um, I'm here supporting Miss Monet and her album release. I'm really proud of her, and I'm glad to be here. 
Now, as an artist, you say you're glad to be here, but um, you know, as an artist, she spoke about the different uh, challenges that she faced in terms of support. Is this something that you could relate to as an artist? Oh, definitely, definitely. A actually, I think any artist that's trying to, uh, you know, come up and trying to be, you know, big in the industry, you know, they all have that challenge because it's not easy. No matter which background you came from, you're always going to have that challenge in terms of, you know, you know, trying to get noticed and trying to get established. And, and that's, that's something that everyone, I think, as an artist, go through, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Now, what are you doing? What's going on with Joseph George? I know you had a couple singles on Z-Rod in rotation, doing big things here in the Virgin Islands. What's going on with you? Well, currently right now, I'm still working on the album. Uh, I, I'm, I'm looking at uh, trying to set a release date currently, but I'm, I'm really taking my time and I'm not trying to rush anything. And, and But um, I'm really working on the album and, you know, I have other artists that I'm actually producing right now and, you know, I'm getting them developed. So this year, 2016, I'm looking forward, you know, for a lot of big things to, to come under my label, JCG Records. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So many VI artists in the building. I'm having a fantastic time. And we're here with the man himself, Aaron the Jedi. What's up? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I support my girl, Mune. For sure. Now, you're an artist, fellow rapper. But this, she's like basically the only girl in the VI right now representing in terms of rap. How does that make you feel as a male and of course being from the VI? Um, first of all, I've worked with Monet before. She's an outstanding artist, number one. Choreography, everything. She, she has a total package. So, you know, this I saw this coming for. I saw this coming for. So she's a phenomenal person. So Monet will do good. Monet will do good and she's a, she's a headliner in her, within herself for all young ladies coming up. Very respectable young lady, music is pure, and she has hard ranks. Great. So what are your feelings about the album tonight? So far, um, my favorite is Let, Let, Let Me Know. I think that's the second track, the second track so far. So I'm, yeah, I'm three tracks in right now. So by the time, probably by the time the end of the night, I'll probably have four, five, six, seven favorites, and there's only seven tracks on the album. So, yeah. All right. And let me tell you, if you're looking for all of the artists, them right here tonight, for sure. I'm so happy to see that all of them came out to support uh, Monet. But right about now, we're here with Travis. Travis, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I am fantastic. Now, I remember you from the Top 7 at 7. Yeah. What have you been up to uh, since then? Since Top 7 at 7, I've moved to Atlanta to pursue school. I'm um, doing a double major in marketing and finance. Um, but on the side, I do artist management, photography, videography, creative directing, styling. Actually, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I've styled for Carly Red um, so far. And in terms of Monet, um, this picture was taken by me. Yes, the pictures were taken by me. Monet is one of my closest friends and I would do anything for her. So basically, um, just creative directing and making sure that she has the right image. I'm down. Sorry. So basically, you have something to fall back on yeah. if this thing and thing don't really... I mean, I don't really want it to be a fall back because that's what I'm passionate about, you know? I really want to go into just creative directing and style and just being a creator. I don't want to be labeled as a photographer, a videographer, a stylist, a singer. I want to be a creator. So basically, when I'm home watching BET or VH1 and I see a video, I may see your name down to the bottom as director. That's what I'm hoping for. All right. Now your your best friend, your good friend, she released her album tonight. What are your what are your views? What are your thoughts? Yes, Monet is a great artist. She is very different from every artist that's out right now. She, as the album says, she's all of the above. Um, Monet is a dancer, choreographer. She's a rapper. She's a singer. She has the total package. And as I said tonight, she doesn't need um very much molding. She is she's everything. Um, she worked really hard, and I feel like she put out a very good body of work. A very good, spectacular. It's all about IOTA, big album release here at Le Petit Sports Bar. And I'm meeting so many interesting people. And I'm sitting now with Marissa. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Now I understand that you're the mastermind behind Virgin Islands Made. Tell me about that. Okay, well, I mean, Virgin Islands Made is a shirt um, under the brand Iconic. It's something that I just started. Um, it's basically a shirt to market the Virgin Islands and, you know, the different artists, the athletes and entrepreneurs and anybody else that had anything to contribute to the Virgin Islands. So what were you thinking on that made you decide, look, this is what I want to do. When I want to make a shirt that when we as Virgin Islands people put it on, 
Look, I'm from the beyond. What, what were you thinking on? I mean, Virgin Islands pride is contagious. And the friends that I have, I mean, you know, Monet, Travis, Kadeja, I mean, all the friends, all the people I surround myself with, they're driven. And I just felt that young people have a lot to offer. And I felt that this would be a good thing to market us as well as the Virgin Islands. All right, good stuff. So how far have uh, this uh, shirt gone? I mean, I see different pictures online. How far have this shirt uh, gone so far? I mean, well, I started about two and a half months ago. And uh, it's, it's big. Yeah, I have uh, people in St. Thomas actually wanting the shirt. So it's coming. So you can get it in a t-shirt, polos, how, how, how can you get it? I mean, for now you can get it in hoodies, sweatshirts, t-shirts. Uh, I have onesies for babies as well and toddler tees. Uh, but later on this month I'll have more styles and more designs and stuff like that coming. Alright, good stuff. Well, tonight you're here for Monet. Um, you spoke a little earlier and you said how proud of her um, you were. And you spoke about her work ethics. Tell us how you're feeling about the album. What's your favorite track? Oh, that's kind of hard. Um, let's see. I like all of them, but don't waste your time and one second the song that's playing now. Those two, I would have to say, are competing for my favorite. This is definitely one of my favorite songs on the EP. It's called One Night, and it's featuring Travis, Chavi Rose. I don't know if he wants to call Travis, Rose, one of my best friends. <laughs> Um, this was great because I went to Atlanta for Thanksgiving and we got in the studio and on the spot we made this song together, The Hook. We, we went there to record a different song but then they played this song for us and then we just started like vibing on, vibing on and literally he was like, me, like humming the melody and I was in the corner like, ooh, is that you? Ooh, like that kind of vibe. And on the spot I wrote the first book verse of this song and that's why I really feel like this song is special to my heart because I felt like that was the first time I was in a studio and I wrote on the spot. Like that was so authentic to me. Normally I'm home with the beat, I get to perfect it, I get to do whatever I want with it and then I go to the studio. But for this I got to sit down and force myself to be quick with the pen. Like I not I really wanted to show them especially I was in a different place, I was trying to grow my network. I had to show them like I could deliver on the spot if they needed me to. Miss Monet Richardson, how you doing? I'm feeling very excited. I can see that you look hot girl. Now you started off, now I know you from when you were so high. I remember you going to school and being with, it was Vietnam soldiers, hanging with those guys. Tell us about your beginnings. Um, as you said, like I started out in a guy group called Vietnam. It was actually me and another female, um, Dalnique, and we just, they started the group and I was like, yeah, like I could rap too. And that was basically how I really pushed myself to like start writing lyrics because I knew I was a good writer in terms of like in school writing creative stories and stuff so I was like I like to dance I like to perform I feel like I could put pen to paper and be like the entire package so that's where it really started and then eventually like the group um, died down and I decided to go solo because my passion was still there in the music I still wanted to pursue it so then I went solo nice now your rapping took you over to uh, the mainland, um, you are studying, is it dance you're studying? What is it you're studying over overseas? Okay, a lot of people really do think that I'm away at school studying dance or music, but mm -hmm. I recently graduated from UNC Chapel Hill in May, and I graduated in a, with a bachelor's in biology, so now, oh. yeah, so I'm That's a scientist. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Yeah, I um I currently work in a lab at UNC for the grad school. Basically, we do research in terms of um, how alcohol affects the liver. So we're trying to find different kind of drug targets for in or in terms of, in terms of making alcoholic diseases reversible or to protect people from alcoholic diseases. Right. Okay. So there, I was thinking you went overseas to study music and all that. But nonetheless, I think you're in the perfect place to further um, what you're doing in your career. Now you spoke about um, being all of the above. Iota. 
right? Aota. Aota. Okay. Yes. So if you happen to meet a producer, let's say you're in, in Atlanta, Las Vegas, and you meet a producer, and they're like, well, why should we sign you? Do you think by saying, listen, I'm all of the above, do you think that that's what they want to hear? How would you go about selling yourself to that producer? A lot of times right now in the industry, they kind of don't, they want to put you in a box, so they don't necessarily want to hear that you could do a lot of different things. They kind of want to be able to say, okay, you're pop, you're a pop artist, like you just make pop music. Okay, you're rap, you just do rap. But I feel like as a rapper, I've seen like Nicki Minaj do it, for example. She did a lot of different styles and was able to reach out to a lot of different markets, except that I don't want to go pop. That's the difference. In, in terms of me, I'm within one genre. It's rap, it's hip hop. There's different styles, different subgenres of rap and hip hop. So I'm gonna give you different levels of hip hop. I'm gonna give you conscious, because a lot of people need something to just chill to, something to relate to. I can talk about relationships, I can talk about social issues. And then there's sometimes people don't wanna think a lot, don't wanna sit down and really analyze lyrics. People just wanna hear something that's catchy, a catchy beat, something yeah. they could dance to. Like, then I give you the same type of like, the same lyricism, but I'm relate, relaying it a different way right. every time for someone else to relate to it in a different way. So it's not necessarily like I'm all of the above in terms of being able to rap, being able to dance, and being able to have the entire package in terms of my look. But I won't say like I can do every genre of music, you know what I mean? All right. Now, you, in my opinion, are a triple threat. You sing, you rap and you dance. Now, people were asking questions earlier tonight, but nobody asked you this question. Who are some of the people that inspire you? I don't think you just got up and say, look, I want to be a rapper. I think you had to be inspired. You saw somebody, it might be salt and pepper, it might be somebody that inspired you to say, look, I want to do this. Who inspired you? Um, who would I say inspired me? I can tell you, there's a lot of different people that inspired me. I can't pinpoint anyone, but I just remember being like a really young child in front of the BT network and watching people perform. I feel like it's the performance aspect that really drew me to it. Yeah. And then I decided to develop my lyricism because I felt like it set me apart. So who inspires me currently is definitely would be obviously Nicki Minaj because she's one of the prominent female artists right. right now in the industry. So Nicki Minaj definitely inspires me. I would say J. Cole. Mm -hmm. I love that he's so real. Okay. I love that he doesn't ride the wave. He does right. his own thing. I also love Drake. It's like so many different people that inspire me. If I'm thinking about doing like a more thuggish, upbeat, I think about like, oh, I think about Drake or like Future, like it's so different every time I write a song. I won't necessarily say I think about a specific artist all the time when I write a song, because obviously I'm trying to be true to me. Yeah. But every time I write, it's something different, some different character, some different inspiration, whether it's a friend that told me something or me listening to a previous song, just so many different things. Now you mentioned earlier that you want to network more, you know, you're trying to get yourself out there. It's the prime time now based on what's going on in the industry, you know, Caribbean beats, the dancing. What are you hoping is going to happen with this mixtape? I'm really hoping that I will be able to shop my work to different labels, different a ARs. But currently, my one of my main focuses right now is to build a fan base, build a bigger fan base, a stronger presence on social media. So I'm planning to bring out a lot of visuals for my songs because nowadays no one just wants to click a link and listen to a song. They want to see what you look like. They want to see how you perform in front of the stage. So that's basically one of my main goals to make a bigger um, impact in terms of social media world and also to be noticed by somebody. And I'm not going to just sit back and think that I'm, I'm going to be noticed because someone will like jump, like come across my music. I'm yeah. trying to like sought out producers, sought out in our so them to like pay attention to me. Good stuff. Well, thank you so much for having a word with us, Monet. I think you're doing a fantastic job. I wish you lots of luck with the EP and keep on doing what you're doing. Anybody you want to thank, shout out? 
Yeah, I want to thank God first and foremost for blessing me. I want to thank my mom who's here right now. I want to thank my dad, my mom's boyfriend, who's also like a second dad to me. I want to thank my friends. Uh, my team is everything to me. Marissa, Travis. Travis had a huge impact on this tape for me. Yeah, he's like my right hand man when it comes to music, when it comes to branding. I'm like, Travis, what do you think? Like before I do a lot of things, I'm like, Travis, what do you think? Yeah. And I just really value his opinion. And um, I also want to thank Clive and Chur Churchy for um, allowing me to use this place. I want to thank you guys for coming. I want to thank everybody else who came out. I want to thank Lincoln Ward, who was yeah. the engineer. He engineered all the tracks except for One Night, which was engineered by the producer in Atlanta yeah. um, called King Wade. So I want to thank the producer. So Mike Martin, King Wade, thank Lincoln Ward again, and just everyone who's supporting the tape so far like everyone's been buying the tape and I'm really appreciative all right thank you so much money it was definitely a pleasure being here with you and I wish you nothing but success thank you so much all right it's all about JTV hot trends we definitely had a blast here at Liberty Sports Bar for the big album release make sure you cop an album oh how can we cop a, a, a copy um, you could just hit me up on Facebook. My Facebook is Monet Richardson. You can also send me a DM, or you can just, um, I would prefer Facebook. I don't really want to put my number out on here. But, on Facebook. Yeah, hit me up on Facebook. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. As I said, it was a pleasure being here. It's all about JTB Hot Trends. Until we come your way again, this is where we're going to say bye-bye. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Monet definitely doing her thing. Make sure you get a copy of her new EP. You would not be disappointed, all right? Well, our first show for 2016, it's a wrap, but do keep it locked to JTV Hot Trends. We have so much in store for you for 2016. It's going to be fantastic. You can't afford to miss it, all right? Also, check out UP Cineplex. They got awesome movies going on down there. We're going to hook up so we could catch uh, right along too together, all right? It's all about JTV Hot Trends. This is where I got to say goodbye. So until I come your way again.